Go! Now, this guy was huge, right? He was twice the size of Nick, so yeah. I'm trying to get him in the Beat you, Damo! I'm going to have to stand on him. No, I'm going to get him. He's not going to give up anymore. He's not going to give up anymore. Gina? Yeah, no, get him. What about her? Oh, she just happened to mention him, maybe. No, no, no. We just decided it wasn't going to work. Oh, that's okay. That's, that's right. So why are you being such a grunt? I'm not. I'm just... PJ, my shout. Well, they have... Uh, uh, juice, thanks, Jim. Orange juice is very good. Oh, Adam, can you get them while you're there? Yeah, no problem. What do you have, Maggie? Yeah, juice tanks. Cheap shout. I like that. And listen, you better stay sober because I've got a feeling you could meet your future husband just down there. I think you might be right. Drunk and fall over as they should. A bit more advice for the city boy, eh? <laughs> Learn a lot about country life. That's not what good nads, Ben. Hey, yeah, this 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 vodka's been watered down. I put a lid on it, son. Look, I've been drinking at this pub every season for the last 12 years. There's never been a problem with the grog before. Yeah, no, I you don't like it. Well, he's telling you anyway, you little smart ass. <laughs> 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 Water, I'm telling you. Well, I'm telling you, Chris Riley, you're yeah, never doing it. No, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you never had me. You never had me. Oh, shut, shut up. up. Shut, shut up. up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right, so we're going to be charged drunk and disorderly. The bloody publicans are one that should be charged. If you don't shut up, if you don't shut up, we won't be talking about bail. We'll be spending the night oh. in the lockup. <coughs> oh, oh, marvellous. I've just had Frank wait on the phone to me at home, wake the baby. He reckons we're sabotaging his wool What's the story? We just had a little Irish two-step down the pub, Tom. Well, it doesn't look like he would have danced the night away, does it, Cooper? So what do we do with this lot? Oh, it's up to them. If they behave themselves, we'll bail them. Well, let's hope they do. We haven't got room for all of them. Frank wants his sheep shorn. Well, he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Oh, David, oh. do you want to go okay, to your mate, eh? Hey? You in the cells. Oh, why me? Because you're the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Frank. If you want to get yourself down here, I'll bail them into your care. You just make sure they all attend court next Friday, wagging their tails behind them. Frank, I don't care. Friday. Well, you'll lose more than one day in the shed. All right, Cyril Xavier Davidson, let's see that. Cyril Xavier Davidson? Didn't know your name was Cyril, Davo. <laughs> Cyril, he doesn't use it. No, I'm the last bloke who did need a dental work. Yeah. Davo, I would have thought you'd have more sense. It wasn't his fault. Oh, let me guess whose it was. Andy's, was it? It's no guess, you stupid mongrel. Oh, yeah, oh, that's enough of that. Come on, look, it wasn't anybody's fault, Sarge. Well, it was just a bit of friendly rivalry. That's friendly? All. He's been up your nose for two weeks. Yeah. Who has? Andy in the cells. He's just like his bloody father. His yeah. old man was a top bloke. Yeah, all right, all right, it finishes here. Now, any more of this nonsense, we'll build a special wing to accommodate all of you. Now, on your way, go on. The lot of you. Oh, come on, Sarge, it's almost seven Ks. He's confiscated all our keys. Good. Frank's on his way down with the truck. A ride in the fresh air will do you all good. Now, you can wait outside. Davo. Just try and keep a lid on it, eh? Well, you know how it is, Sarge. I'm going to chuck the key away, that stupid mongrel. He's not half the shearer you are, mate. I reckon they ought to settle us the old-fashioned way. Well, pistols at dawn, you mean? Yeah, something like that. You didn't notice when you opened a bottle? No, because whoever did it put all these little dabs of super glue around the seals. Mm, any ideas? I wouldn't have a clue. Now Jack wants to bring in the help officer. Like the Woodley grip, mate. Peyton. All right, well, I'll leave it with me. I'll have a word to Jack. Thanks. Make up a list OK. Any delivery people, staff, casuals, in other words. Thanks, PJ. Don't see why you have to pick on me. You're younger. You'll enjoy the walk back more. Andrew Michael Sexton. Are you Pete Sexton's son? Yeah. I don't know. He was partial of the odd bit of friendly rivalry himself. If you mean the odd punch-up, you probably had it come to him. He was a real gun. Yeah, oh, so is Davo. He was probably ringing the shed while you were still in nappies. Just try and stay out of trouble, all right? I you're only going to be half an hour. Oh, sorry, I'm customers. Did that curry you asked for? Oh, great. Good. Taste of India, right? <laughs> so you bought little, uh, what's his name for a walk? Uh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, thingy me, the little bloke. You're going to have to name him sometime. Oh, I will, Dad, when I think of a name I like. And you're constantly calling him what's his name and thing of me and little bloke isn't going to make it happen any faster. The form's due in that. Oh, well, I'll send it today. What's his name? Little bloke Croydon. Happy? Let's see what's wrong with Thomas Arthur after his great grandfather and his granddad. Look, there's no need to call in the health officer. Chris is a mate. 
Oh, so that's what it's all about, eh? Looking after your mates. Look, she's not stupid. She didn't water down the spirit, so there's no need to get the EHR involved, all right? She'll sort it out. Without our help. Just leave it, Jack. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Don't reckon many of those shearers will be in at their breakfast this morning. <laughs> no. Morning, boss. There you go. You're popping the quickies. Just playing up, are they? Hard food. Brought on by a madras curry. You must know. Yeah. Well, I found it in heaven. You know, when you know when breastfeeding you pass yeah. it on. How was the little bloke? You're still nameless. No? <laughs> the great Australian and New Zealand book of baby names. Now, why did he give me this? Reinforcements. By the way, Nick, I floated your idea past Frank Wade this morning. I'm a bit reluctant at first, but I think I persuaded him. He wants you to referee. What? The shearing competition. Settle any disputes before they start up again. Good thinking, no, no. that. Unlike you, Cooper. What? Winter uniform, son. Pay attention. Okay. You go home and get your cap and tie. Yeah, it's in my locker. Well, go and get it out of your locker. And you get yourself yep. over to Wade's yeah. place and sort out the detail. Right. Yeah, yeah. On your bike, person of victory. <laughs> I told Tom, I haven't got time for your bloody sharing contest. I lost half the morning, but the West been late for breakfast. Well, that's no good, eh? Burnt the bacon, undercooked the snags. And the eggs had more shell in them than yolks. And I'll add another ride on me. Oh, well, don't worry about it, Frank. I mean, it was just some idea someone had, you know? Ah. Oh, hey. Maybe Tom's right. Get just sit down once and for all. What do you mean? If that young Andy reckons he should have number one spot, maybe he should try winning with a handpiece instead of his fists. Well, wait a minute, Frank. You mean you want the shearing contest thing to go ahead? Yeah, the Sarvo. I'll get worse to chuck on a barbie. We'll make a party of it. You blokes could run interference. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to referee it, all right? Because I don't know anything about sheep. I mean, uh, Tom Croydon, he's a man. He knows sheep inside out. Fine. Tell him it's at uh, five o'clock today. And he wants me to referee. Oh, Frank, he insisted, Frank Wade. He was very adamant. He said, you knew more about sheep than anyone in the district. It's BYA. No, that'd be right. You do a bloke a favour and he expects you to bring your own beer. Boss, how about Solomon? Head to head against the clock. First to finish 30 clean fleece wins. I can't check the fleece. I'll do that. You just take the time. Ten-second penalties for any chops. BJ, I didn't expect to see you here. Thought you'd be on solving the crime of the century for Chris. You blokes got your bets on? Bets? Yeah, Joe Shaw's running a book. I reckon Andy would be the guy. Well, in that case, I'll have a hundred bucks on Dave. Because I'm a traditionalist, and traditionally you're wrong. Twenty dollars on Andy. Are you going to do your time, mate? Rightio, you know the rules. I don't want any arguments about penalties or ejected fleets. It won't be any. What, arguments? No, oh, penalties or ejections. Not against me, anyway. Oh, I'm going to shake hands. Yeah, well, good luck, Cyril. OK, get set. <laughs> What's up with you? Ah, oh, wool, it makes me itch. <laughs> oh, good. Go! Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Oh, hello. They've gone to a shearing competition. Oh, what? And they've left you behind? Oh, I offered. Uh, don't you remember what a shearing shed smells like, Anna? <laughs> hello, little one. Oh, don't you start. Yeah. Oh, Ta. Oh, he's gorgeous. He looks just like you. Yeah, could be worse. Could look like his granddad. Very true. <laughs> just wouldn't get off to sleep, so I thought a walk might help. Maggie. The boss bought it. He's been driving me crazy, says I have to get the registration form off yesterday. Oh, look, he wants a name to use he's bragging about his grandson. Yeah, Thomas Arthur. What are you saying, I didn't? Well, how else did it happen, Davo? Settle down. Yeah, it's been blooded all right. Well, settle down. Yeah. Right, get a new comb. Well, what about him? Just get a new comb and let's get on with it, eh? Or I'll disqualify you. Go. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Davo. How are you, Davo? Barney? Or <laughs> what, like, Barney? <laughs> Or, 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 um, what is it? Bazel! 
one. Beautiful. Um, uh, uh, red. <laughs> Patrick Joseph. But Pete J. Like Pete J. Dave, we beat you fair and square, mate. Yeah. Well done. Pretty fast. And clean. Just one chop. There you it's go. Not bad for a young fella. First prize for the winner. Best Irish whiskey. <sighs> and number one spot on the board. Yeah, well, we mustn't forget that, must we? <laughs> right, mine's 100. Thanks, mate. I'll take that. This is an illegal transaction. But you placed a bet, too. I don't care. You're running an illegal book. Oh, come on, oh, Jack. It's between you friends here. <laughs> I'm only joking. Well done. Second good thing you've done this week. Thanks, Margaret. Not at Frank's barbecue. Right. Oh, I'm fussy. I drink with Chris. Well, a beer. Now, Jack Woodley's here, right? Hmm. Well, it's not a question of not liking him. Oh, we'll sort it out. Sure, there you go. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get here early about this booze thing. Got the list of casual staff on it. Well, actually, I didn't do one. I'd rather just let it go. I mean, I've made sure that everyone knows I found out about it. I mean, they'd be crazy to keep at it. And getting you blokes in, it'll just get everyone's backs up. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to mess you around. Well, it's your money, Chris. Son of the earth. Yep. From the Hebrew, God created man out of the earth and breathed life into him. Yeah. What does it say about Maggie? Famous yeah, Adams God, include Margaret. Congressman Adam Clayton Powell oh, Jr., Margaret. Adam it's Faith, Margaret, Adam Ant. Adam Ant, Adam Ant. that's Lizzie a Gould. beauty. <laughs> Junior right. cuts from Adam Ant. Yeah, all right, so what does it say about He's Maggie? No, no, I know what it means. It means pearl. Oh, so yeah. you yeah. it up. No, no, in and out, mate. Oh, where's he gone? Well, the CIB doesn't tell me anything. He said something about the crime of the century. Yes, Wait, look, look up Jack. No, oh, I'm really? looking up Maggie. He's playing in the bar. Yeah. Maggie, let me see here. Look, Jeannie, I'm I sorry. I won't be in just... the kitchen. I'll be at home. You can come round and apologise properly when you've caught whoever did it. Jeannie, I'm, I'm not sorry. used to being called a thief, Christine. Oh, Chris, where is he? Thanks very much. I thought you lot were going to let Chris, me do it where my is way. He? Usual like time, round about eight Woodley, please. Well, I'm in the middle of an interview. No, this is important, mate. Right off you go, but hang around the pub. I haven't finished with you yet. What's this all about, Chris? Oh, Jack, I'm sorry. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm much. trying to give you a hand with the crime of the century. If I want a hand, I'll ask for it. Chris said you didn't want our help. She wants it swept under the carpet. You mean. I'm telling you, we back off. Look, you have been in the bush too long. You've stopped thinking like a copper. Now, if she wants us to back off, it probably means she's got something to hide herself. Did that ever occur to you? No, it didn't. Look, I want you out of here now. Oh, do you? Morning, troops. There you go. Where have you two been? No, just something to sort out. Well, could you please keep us informed of your whereabouts? It's a bit embarrassing having to tell the uniform branch that we'll send them a detective as soon as we can find one. Get out to the Wade place. Maggie's already on her way out there. It's been some money stolen. How much? Enough to warrant the involvement of the CIB. Well, let's go. Chance to do some real police work. Yeah. I told you search in the bunkhouse would be a waste of time. I mean, nobody's stupid enough to steal from their mates and then hide it where they all sleep. It was worth a look. That kid did it. That young shear, Andy. What's his name? He's taken off, hasn't he? Look, I want this sorted out. I've had enough bloody trouble without this. Right, you found anything? No, nothing yet. Right, I'll interview the men. We should be looking for that kid. I've already radioed about Sexton. PJ?
Well, well. That looks like blood to me. Maybe that kid hasn't taken off after all. We noticed his gear was gone as soon as we woke up, so uh, first thing I'd done was check my own gear, and that's when I found he'd taken me money. Yeah, and a few others as well. That's why I call you blokes. You don't know it was him. Who the hell else was it, genius? All right, all right. Now, did anyone see or hear anything last night? Uh, now, they're all getting soused at the barbie. How long would that take? All hours. The wife was still complaining at one in the morning. So you wrapped it up? No. No way. I told her to take a sleeping pill. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got much to say, have you? What would you like to hear? Well, about that blood in there for a start. What do you know about that? Nothing. No, of course not. And you weren't brassed off with the kid either, were you? Well, he won fair and square. Come on, mate. He took your spot. He beat you. Oh, what is this? It's a murder inquiry, pal. Hey? Adam, whack up some crime scene tape. The rest of you blokes are coming down the station. Oh, God. For all we know, Andy Sexton took off with the money. Maybe he didn't want any more aggro. He yeah, didn't seem like the type who'd worry about a bit of aggro. Just took the money and run, eh? Ran off into the night. Maybe. And maybe I'm just chasing shadows, is that what you're I'm saying? just saying there are other possibilities. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think that blood's his, and I think one of those bastards did him in. So let's get it tested. It could be sheep's blood, mate. Well, we'll see, won't we? Homicide, please. So, what's the matter with you? Yeah, g'day. Detective I thought Jack I just think he's jumped to conclusions. No, no, BJ. You just don't want to be in the same well. groove as Jack. Now, think about well, it. Normally, like? you'd be doing exactly what he's doing. Well, can now, we until we know what that there? blood is, yes, nobody I've can tell what might have happened. Keep me informed. Thank you. Jack, I'm going to go and get these blokes organised. Thanks, Maggie. On the side moving, are they? Crime scene boys and the biologists will be, but it's going to take a while. They're tied up with something in St David's. Mm. Leave you to it, then. Well, where are you going? Hey? Oh, off to solve the crime of the century. You do it your way. We go back a long way, Christine. All I ask for is a bit of credit for loyalty. Yeah, I know, I look, know. Look, Jeannie, Chris didn't want this investigation. She knew it would upset people. So why go on with it? You open up a can of worms, they tend to keep wriggling. Yeah, well, you're talking to the wrong worm. I never go near the bar, love, or the cellar. Just ask Len. Look, I don't have to. I believe you. Right, then. I'll be in the kitchen. Jenny, do you put any glue in the kitchen? No, nah, love, why? Broken something. No. Hang on. Uh, Len, he had some last week to fix his coffee mug. Len? Yeah, Mungo lent it to him. How long are they going to be? Bloody liberty, if you ask me. Oi, you two are supposed to be talking. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? We have all night to talk to one another if we wanted to. Yeah, sure, I don't know. Any of your room, please, Mr Wilson? Uh, sorry. Can't go in there, it's busy. All right, my office then. BJ, can I have a word? All right, uh, Nick, can you show me to my office, please? Yeah, righty, eh? Yeah. Ciao, Mungo. You mind telling me what's going on? Mm -hmm. I'm going to interview a suspect, put him through the hoops. I'm talking about Jack Woodley. He's got Cooper out babysitting a crime scene. He and Doyle are interviewing Frank Wade's entire shearing gang. And according to Schultz, we're not even sure a crime's been committed yet. That's got nothing to do with me. I'm in another It's got case. everything to do with you. Who's running the CIB here? That's a good question, boss. Maybe you should ask Jack. Right. First things first. Now, Mungo, I think you're the one that got into Chris's grog. I said I didn't. And I don't know what I just think. It. Hmm? Well, if you can't prove it... I think I can, though. Now, first there's the glue, then there's the bottles. You seal the cases, which you had to do to make the scam work. I didn't touch the seals. So I've got the cases that are supposed to look like they're not open, but your prints are going to be on the bottles. Unless, of course, you wore gloves. Damn. That's what you did, didn't you? Coffee? Door open. I reckon Jack might hang him out the window by his ankles. Grow up. Any startling revelations? No, you'll be pleased to hear. They all say there was no aggro, no fighting, nothing. Hmm. But none of them saw him leave either. And just maybe they're all sticking together. VKC to Mount Thomas Station. Mount Thomas Station to VKC. Constable Cooper requires assistance in your crime scene. He's having trouble securing the area. Receive that, VKC. We're on our way. One guess. Frank Wade's throwing his weight around. Get out there, arrest him if you have to. Power of the coroner. Uh, boss, what about... Just tell Jack to wrap this circus up and get back out there. You can go too, PJ. No, I got Mungo in there. I'll look after Mungo in a cell if I have to. Yes, look, but Come he's... on, PJ. You want to put the wind up in, didn't you? Yes. Look, I want this sorted out. And I don't just mean the case, I mean whatever's going on between you and Jack Woodley, all right? Yeah. Okay.
And I'm telling you, holding this truck up is costing me big bucks. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Wade, but this is a crime scene and you can't take anything away. What's going on, Adam? Oh, the Lone Ranger, he said he'd shit at me twice if I tried to take the truck out. Yeah, right. He'd Good be well man. within his rights if he did. Oh, come on. I need me wall check. I've got bills to pay, wages. Oh, we're investigating a murder. Now, the truck stays here. Look, those bales were here two days ago. I got the inventory consignment dated. Look here. OK, Adam, count the bales. If they tally, we release the truck. No, we will not. What are you trying to do? Shut the man's farm down. PJ, I've already checked the bales, and there are two more than are on the list. It's a clerical error, I told him. Don't mess us about, Mr Wade. The reason you want that truck out of here is because you knew bloody well what would happen when we saw that inventory. Give us a break! Well, you're right down there? Yeah. Right. You know all this wool's going to be next to bloody useless. Yeah, sorry about this, mate. There's not much I can do about it. You're not going to find anything. I think I got something. Set of shearers combs. But whose? Does anyone recognize this? Yeah, it's the kids. I think we're chasing shadows, do you? Adam. I don't want anybody or anything in or out of here until crime scene arrives, all right? How long's that going to be? I don't know. It's been a busy day in the sticks, mate. I'm just going to go and look around, make sure we haven't forgotten anything. We don't want homicide thinking that we're bumpkins, do we? There's no smoking in here, sorry. Any rule against rolling them? Not that I know of. Good. Relaxes me. You need to relax, do you? <laughs> no, I just don't like sitting around, love. Makes me fidgety. So, what happens now? I can't talk to you about the investigation, sir. <laughs> investigation? There's not much of an investigation when you've decided who did it before you've started. Well, I'll tell you, I didn't much like that bloody little rooster, but I didn't kill him. Well, that's up to Homicide to find out. Good on you. Tell me. Hey. Good. Good thing we secured the crime scene out there or we could have had egg all over our faces. Yeah, well, mine maybe. Well, we all make mistakes, PJ. Yes. Doesn't hurt to kick the odd go of Homicide, though. Probably beg you to join him. Well, that'd get me out of your hair, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, there is that. Where are you going? Homicide and want a word. I don't think it's for them, mate. Mate, the boss wants his office back, and Detective Senior Sergeant Cox is here to see you. All right, Good. Time, Wheel him in. Wheel him in. Morning. Hi, and how are you? Hi, PJ. Been a while. you're out here. Yeah, it's been a long time. G'day, I I'm Jack Woodley. How you doing? Fine. So there are two detectives out here. What do you do all day? Getting each other's way. Hmm. Oh, I'm actually running this case, Elaine. Uh, senior Sergeant. Sure. Sorry, Mum. Uh, PJ's got other things on his plate. I've pretty well got it worked out, actually. I've got a suspect waiting for you. Oh, well, maybe I'll catch you later then, PJ. Hmm. See you later. Yeah. OK, Detective... Woodley. Senior Detective. So you got something for us. Suspect? Hmm. Sorry about your office. Oh, I couldn't very well stick him in the cells, could I? I don't believe you've actually charged him. What's all about? Yeah, just make sure you do. I've got work to do. Edward. No, that's a good old-fashioned name. Edward. Was it Edward Croy? Dead Faulkner. Oh. All right, just 
say I did do it, and I made this, what do you call it, restitution, you know, sort of paid her for what I took. Well, that's gone a bit too far for that, matey. You should have cooperated sooner. All right. I didn't do it then. So you're going to have to let me go, aren't you? No, no, you sit right there. Yes, I'll see how long they're going to be. Oh, Mr Woodley will do this in the right order, if you don't mind. Can bring him out here. Problem? No, I've got my team out of the farm doing a search. It's better if the suspect's are present when they're going through yeah, his belongings. Yeah. You know me, first things first. Fair enough. Mr Davidson, we're going to go back out to the farm so you can be present when we go through the belongings, and then I want you back here so I can interview you. Oh, it makes no difference to me. I've been back and forth like a horizontal yo-yo all day anyway. OK. Elaine's a real stickler for procedure, mate. That bastard killed the kid and you know it as well as I do. Well, knowing it and proving it are two different things. You got no hard evidence yet? <laughs> we'll just have to see what turns up, won't we? PJ? Yes, he's out of there. So you got it? Well, mate, I've got it. Highly illegal, highly improper chicanery. Chicanery? Yeah, chicanery. Would you do it? Of course I'll do it, mate. Thanks, Nick. ta -da. It's not got you coming up with ideas too, has he? No, no, just for lunchtime reading. Yeah. Here, Chris. Uh, PJ left a message for me. Go yeah, fetch him for you. What is the little bug? Oh, we left him with Jamie for half an hour. I'm going to the supermarket. Any requests for dinner? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, something plain. Chicken. Oh, you're so boring. You like Chris, food you like come out of I'm not boring. Oh, I've just got a delicate it. stomach. Oh. Well, listen, I don't want a nag. We've only got three days to get this. No, we don't. Gonna... I check with the office. It's due in tomorrow. What? They changed the regulations. You can ring and check if you don't believe me. What are you going to do? Go shopping. Chicken? Anna? I went through every one of them, every case. But he doesn't know about it. No, no, I don't think so. You realise if he admits it, I'm going to have to charge him. Look, I don't care anymore. The best thing I can do is give him the flick and try and patch things up with everyone else. OK. What's going on? I must inform you that you're not obliged to say or do anything, but that anything you do or say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? Yeah. I must also inform you of your following rights. You may communicate with or attempt to communicate with a friend or family member and to inform that person of your whereabouts. You may communicate with or attempt to communicate with a legal practitioner. Do you understand these rights? Yeah. Got a lot. Yeah, why not? No, I don't believe it. No, we don't have to. You handballed the inquiry to Jack, remember? Come on, Maggie, there's a thousand places he could have hidden the thing. Why would he put it in his own mattress? Well, why would he put a body through a wool press or kill someone with a bailing hook? I don't know. A bailing hook? Yeah, crime scene found a weapon. Oh, Is that in the mattress too? Look, Davo's no dummy. Somebody planted that flask. When? The whole scene's been taped off. No one's been there. I'll take care of Mungo. Give us ten seconds, mate. Yeah, right, yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mungo. I'll be talking to your sergeant. Yeah, we'll take a seat. We've uh, been a bit busy. Now, you uh, still maintain you didn't water down the spirits, reseal the caps and glue the cases together? Yep. Well, you know it's better to confess than uh, to get caught out, don't you? There you go. One bottle of Bacardi, as requested. Have you seen your constable? <clears throat> All right, all right, I did it. I want to make a statement. When did you last see Andrew Sexton? <laughs> In the wool bale. Alive. When did you last see him alive? Look, could we just cut this bull? 
I didn't kill him. But you didn't like him. No, he was a little smart ass, but that's no reason to kill him. Like I told the constable. He took your number one spot, Mr. Didn't Woodley. He? Would you say you had a grudge against Mr. Sexton? <laughs> no, he won fair and square. Well, how'd you feel about that? I already told you I was angry with myself, not at him. Well, can anyone verify the fact that you went back to the quarters and that you got drunk and didn't go back to the shed? I don't know. I can't remember. I was drunk and so was everybody else pretty much. Except for you blokes. And we'd all left, which only leaves your mates and they'd all lie to protect them. Detective! No, not if I killed the kid they wouldn't. Look, look, we got a code, sure. But it's mainly about not stealing another bloke's smokes. About not having to lock up your things. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the competition. Mr. Sexton said that someone blunted his combs. Got any idea who might have done that? It wasn't me. I didn't do that. Oh. I wouldn't try to win that way. But he accused you of doing Yeah, well, he that. was wrong. Well, did you fight with Mr. Sexton? No. Well, how would you come by those marks on your I face? didn't fight with him. Oh, but he accused you of doing something he didn't do. How did you feel? Angry, all right? Hey, settle down. How angry, Mr. Davidson? How angry? Not angry enough to stick him with a bailing hook. How'd you know it was a bailing hook? I'm a shearer. I saw his body. I know what a mess those things can make. I didn't kill him. Hey, PJ, you bring me some lunch? What do you think I am, Meals on Wheels? Hey, Asham. Where can I get back into me shed? It's up to Detective Senior Sergeant Cox. Bloody marvellous. Meantime, I'm stuck here with a kitchen full of idle shearers. I haven't got a spare sandwich, have you? You'll be bloody lucky. Listen, mate, this is important. Now, did anyone go near the bunkhouse or the shearing shed before crime scene got here? No. You mean after we found yes, the body? Yes, yes. No, it's just us here. Us. Me, Maggie and Jack. Thanks, mate. What? I just expect more professional conduct, that's all. In the interview room, I'm in charge. He's a shearer. He's not going to open up if you stroke him with a velvet glove. You mean he's not going to open up to a woman, is that it? Why don't you just say what you mean? Well, I didn't write the book. That's how they are. All right, all right. Let's just talk I about this. I won't thing. have taped interviews compromised because you can't keep your mouth shut, Mr Woodley. And the tapes will be useless anyway if you can't get him to talk. All right, Jack, that's enough. You know what the protocol is. Yeah, it's there for a reason, to maintain the integrity of the evidence. If you'd prefer to use one of my other officers instead of Jack, just say so. Good idea. No, no, no. no. This is my argument and my decision, OK? You want to try it again? I suppose uh, Jack would be out of the question as a name. Very funny, Schultz. Uh, one day she's got one day. What's happening? Uh, Mungo is being released on bail. There you go, mate. Now, you're not going to go anywhere, are you, Mungo? I'll turn up in court. Good man. What do you reckon he was doing? Selling it or drinking it? Oh, a bit of both, probably. The charge, Dave, are you? <laughs> no, no, there's been a few hiccups there. Listen, at the contest yesterday, uh, anybody lose big apart from Jack? Any serious punters? No. No, no one's betting that big. No, I suppose the bloke who's running the book might have been hit a bit. Joe. Sure, I lost a lot of money. I was good for it. Yeah, but everyone's winnings got stolen, didn't they? Well, I'm not a thief, mate. Work every spread in this area. Nobody's ever called me a thief. No, no, I'm not saying you are, Joe. We'll just check you out properly first, that's all. Don't worry me. You now, one thing I am curious about is, um, how come you're so confident backing your mate? Well, that's what mates are for, isn't it? Yeah, you've seen them both share. You knew it was going to be close. Not unless you knew something. Don't know what you're on about. I'm on about the comb. Now, you had a good hour between the end of your shift and the start of the contest to blunder, didn't you? Oh, you're crazy. I didn't do that. Anyone could have done it. Including your mate? You said you didn't handle the flask. I didn't say that. Well, you told us that you left the shed, you went back to your quarters, you got drunk, you went to bed. If that's true, when did you handle the flask? I don't know. I might have handled it. I was drunk. I don't remember. OK. Well, perhaps you're getting a bit tired. You hungry? I could go off feed, yeah. OK. Detective? Interview suspended at 5.45pm for a meal break. Maybe a break will give you a bit of time to remember. And, Mr Davidson, I suggest you use the time to consider your statement carefully. Council, we can take him back to the cells now, thanks. We're going to go and get something to eat. OK. Well, the pub's the closest. I'll take you if you like. Oh, OK. Uh, you can bring back his food. That'd be very helpful. Good. 
Uh, Nick, Joe's free to leave. Yeah, good night. Uh. Right, straight through the cells, please, Mr. Ah, Davidson. Mr. Davidson, uh, I'd like a word, please. Hey, Jay, this is not no, the case. This, this is important. Tough. Thank you. I didn't blunt the comb. I already said you'd have to be the lowest mongrel. No, unless you did it to help out a maid. Well, that'd be misguided, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe. Still a low trick, though. Uh, PJ, Is that I... how you got in the fight with him? You found out it was Joe who mucked up the kid's comb? I didn't need his bloody help. I'd rather lose fair than win by cheating. Right, so you and Joe had a fight. Mate, he didn't have a scratch on him. Yeah, well, he's a ducker and a weaver. He's fast. You know, and I was tired after the contest and drunk. He was giving me a pasting. And then the kid broke it up. Oh, and he sexed him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe buggered off and the kid picked me up. Well, no hard feelings. Gave me a drink from his flask to bury the hatchet. They got my fingerprints on it, didn't they? Huh. Yeah, well, he wasn't such a bad young fella. Under all that swagger. Oh, now, did he know what you and Joe were fighting about? Run the bloody catering sort of thing. Thanks, Maggie. Hey. PJ? Hey! What the hell are you up to? That's my suspect and I'm handling this case. No, homicide is, Jack. Nick, in ten minutes, get on the phone to Frank Way. Tell him to get a message to our friend. He's to stay put. PJ? Yeah, right hey, PJ! laid off the beds because I needed the money for me daughter. She's in trouble for her and her kids. So you really needed to win? Yeah. Yeah, so I blunted Andy's combs, all of them. Only one of them I must have messed up worse than the others and he noticed it. But he won anyway? Yeah. Later on, Dave got drunk and come back to the shed. Come straight out and asked me if I'd done it. Well, I couldn't lie to him, could I? Davo got mad, had a go at me. I mean, he never was much of a fighter, but uh, he, he he just kept coming. Until? Well, Andy come in. Broke us up, and I took off. A few minutes later, I come back to see if Davo's OK. He wasn't there. Kid must have dumped him in his bed. He must have guessed what the stash was about, because um, he'd come looking for me. What happened then? He chucked the combs on the floor and he went for me. Now, I come back at him hard. I mean, I, I was mad, done him some damage too, but he, he, he just kept coming. No one heard, came in? No, no, the music was loud, you know. They were all up around the fire. What happened, Joe? I don't know, mate. I really don't know. See, I was pretty far gone myself. How did the bailing hook come into it? But just remember, a lot of blood. You're pulling it out and chucking it away. He shouldn't have come for me. Um, what happened then? I panicked, I guess. Oh, Jesus. I killed him. He wrapped the combs of the kid's bandana and chucked him in a bale. He knew he had to get the body outside, but there's no way he could do it. Hmm, so he made up another bale with the tailings and sweepings and then goodbye Andy. And he planted the flask on the most likely suspect and let him take the rap. Some mate. Yeah, but he wasn't going to let Davison go down for good. Well, that's why he stole the money. Yeah, see, he was going to make a run for it. Get his daughter back up on her feet. And then skip the country and send us a letter telling us the truth. By which time Dave, I would have spent a few months in jail. Mm hmm Mr Davidson, you're free to go now. My apologies for what you've had to go through today. Sure. So, what happens to Joe? Um, he's been charged with murder. It's up to the courts now. You will be required to give evidence. You need a lift there, Dave? Eh? No, thanks. I'll walk. Go on, you. Pick up my gear. I'll let you know where I am. Probably St David somewhere. What about the rest of Frank's sheep? 
No, I reckon I've shown the last one, Sarge. I'm getting a bit long in the tooth. Might try fruit picking, you reckon? No. Anything so long as it doesn't move or grow wool. Didn't notice you apologising. What for? I didn't charge him, the Iron Maiden did. You yeah, made damn sure of it. What's that supposed to mean? You bricked him, mate. You found the flask in the shed before crime scene got there, and you planted it in Davo's mattress. Look, the right bloke's been charged. It's over. Forget it. Elaine is not stupid, mate. She's going to ask about that flask. She's like a dog with the bone. Yeah, maybe. You spoke to Davo in the cells, didn't you? Well, he spoke to me. He knows that it'll go worse for Joe if the court thinks that he tried to get his mate blamed. So he's going to say the kid gave him the flask and he planted it after the body was found. He's going to say he panicked. No way. No, mate, you stitched him up. You did the same thing with Dean Crocker. Dean Crocker was guilty. Now yeah, you know sure, that. OK. But you didn't have any evidence, so you planted the picture frame same as the flask. I've got a bit of advice for you. Let it go. You could learn something from those shearers about looking after your mates. Alright, well, we should charge our glasses to the local CIB. Two scores in one day that is not bad. Yeah, well, yeah, well, well done. Well done. Dog, how's that just in time for your shout, mate? Well, you'll be lucky leaving me out there to freeze and starve to death. Oh, well. A couple of pies, Chris. Sure. Well, shouldn't I yeah. still worried about Little Taker, are you? Of course I'm still worried, boy. What are we going to call him? No frills, Croyd. Mm. Here we go, lads. Another chance for a pinch. Oh, Underage drinking. Isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd find you here. Well, of course I'm here. I'm drowning my worries. Well, you can stop worrying. I sent the form off. Did you? Mm -hmm. So, what's his name? Well, I wanted something distinctive and strong. Yeah, yeah, or what? Say hello to Krishna. Uh, Krishna? <laughs> That's wrong. Oh, yeah, shut up, the world. Krishna. That'll Boy, teach you to nag. <laughs> they haven't changed the rules at all. We've still got a month to decide. You gave me a heart attack. But I've decided Krishna. anyway. <laughs> what do we want to know? Yep. Samuel. Samuel Thomas Croydon. Oh, nice choice. Oh, yeah. That's getting better. Samuel. Uh, uh, Chris, break out a bottle of bubbly. Make sure there's a label on it, will you? Yeah. To Sam. To Sam. To Sam. To Sam. To Sam.